Just in my own life, I find it like such a relief to uh, to know today after using this training for nine years, uh, like one hundred percent sure that uh, my well-being, my contentment in life, life satisfaction, meaning in life, all of this is not dependent on what I happen to think and feel and sense. That's radical. I never heard that anywhere before I met this training. I, I was always looking for positive circumstances, positive data in relationships, positive places, you know, this, you know, contentment and, and happiness was dependent on having positive thoughts, emotions. So if you're here for the first time to hear that that's not true, it's of course not necessarily something you would agree with <laughs> or, or even understand, but it's not needed at all. Because what we really provide here in this training is not something for you to understand. But it's something to just receive with an open mind and, and, and see if it resonates. For me, it resonated completely because uh, I had lived for, I don't even remember, maybe 30 something years when I met this training. And I saw that actually uh, I, I was not very successful in uh, having a happy life even if I was so good at creating the best circumstances in my life. I was so good at it. Perfect relationships, perfect marriage, very, very good and interesting job taking me around the world, earning a lot of money, living in nice houses. What more? <laughs> I, I remember I lacked nothing. <laughs> it was just like so perfect, but I wasn't happy. So I'm so happy <laughs> that I had that experience quite uh, early in my life, I would say, because it introduced me to, to a longing for what is really true about being a human being. And the truth is that your, your well-being, your permanent well-being, can never depend on any emotions, any thoughts, any relationships, any places, any things, any money, you know, it cannot depend on it. But it doesn't mean that, you know, we live our life, right? We earn money, we have relationships, we do things, we move, we have jobs, you know, all of this is totally fine. But what we humans need today more than ever is to receive an education, a train of our mind to tap into that which is always happy. <laughs> That's maybe not the best word here, but that which is always content, I would say. That quality in you that's always stable, always clear, not disturbed and confused with what you happen to think and feel right now. Not at all confused by it. This just always on clarity that we can tap into whenever we want to. So this is a quality that I have more of and or some people have more of or it's equal. It's like who we are. But, uh, you know, what I can see as a difference these nine years is that I have trained myself to tap into it, to rely on it. That this quality that we in this training call open intelligence more and more and more and more in my life. So I rely on it as, a, as, as the ultimate guide to, to what I decide for my life, for, for everything, what I, what I say, what everything. And it provides such ease and relaxation. Even if I am busy, it provides such re relaxation and ease, even if I am very sad or I want to be somewhere else. So wherever we are, that's where open intelligence is. And in this training, we, we are really pointed to see that all of our data, thoughts, emotions, sensations, all data that are streaming 
is who you are. It's inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue and the sky. You, you, you're totally fine hanging out with yourself just as you are in this moment. You don't need to change anything. Not a single thought, not a single emotion. You don't need to change it. You're perfect as you are. This is the starting point for an empowered life. This is actually the starting point for any relationship. You know, when we relate to each other, when everyone rely on open intelligence, we see that we are not dependent on each other for, for, you know, for meaning, for happiness, for satisfaction. It's very, very clearly seen because we just see who we are. And then relating, all kinds of relating becomes fun. It becomes easy. Because what is at the core of any relating? We don't even need to define it into intimate relating, friendship, you know. Any relating is a natural devotion to how can I support you? How can I support you to be, be who you are? Not as a cliché, not as something we read and ah, it sounds very nice, but it's impossible to do. Many, many times I, I was thinking, you know, it's just impossible to do. But with this training, I've seen it. These nine years with, with all my friends in this community where we work together, we live together, I've seen it again and again. The projection stops. The expectations that someone needs to provide me with some kind of something <laughs> stops. And what's left is just this true relating that we always longed for and we thought maybe it was only to be found in intimate relationships, but you know, this true relating, that's just the devotion to each other, is totally possible. So in this training, we give you one instruction to tap into open intelligence. So if you've been sleeping and relaxing and not remembering anything up until now, which is totally fine, by the way. It doesn't matter what we say, the words we say, the words spoken in the video, you know, this goes far beyond the words. You will feel, you will sense if this resonates because you know what's true. As children, we all knew this, by the way, before we trained ourselves to look into our thoughts and emotions and analyzing ourselves and <laughs> analyzing other people. This wasn't normal. You know, this isn't normal. <laughs> we think it's normal. This, this is what we think is, you know, our human life, but it isn't. Look at children and you know, <laughs> you know what's true. So, so, you know, we, we just share our own experience and you, you know if this resonates, <laughs> you know. So the one instruction that we give in this training, listen up. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. This is the golden key on how anyone can train their mind to let their thoughts and emotions stream, flow on by. Not avoiding them, not replacing them, not indulging them, not doing anything with them. That's the ultimate brain training for sure. <laughs> to let this just flow on, on by with no descriptions needed, no analysis needed. Because what's left is not that you ignore what you think and feel. You see it clearly, but you're not trapped in the analysis. You're not trapped in, you know, following the data, being overwhelmed by the data, being confused by the data. You just see everything clearly. It's impossible to take it personal. You just see that, oh, we share this human experience of feeling happy, sad, jealous, angry, <laughs> and all of this, desires, everything included. So that's the true intimacy with, with yourself right there. And then you see, wow, you know, whoa. I can feel this as my daily life, everything flowing on by. And I know this is who everyone is. And then you feel so connected to everyone. So that, that neediness of needing that one person or two or three or I don't know, <laughs> you know, needing a few persons disappears. But it doesn't mean that we stop having intimate relationships. But we know what's true. We know that, you know, it's part of this training we have had that the grass is always greener. It will always be greener. I'm sure when I'm dying, I might have thought, oh, I wish I could die differently. <laughs> 
just a different setting, please. You know, I, I had the hope that I would die this way. It's ridiculous. It will con so I've seen myself, you know, this, I can't rely on this, <laughs> which is great. But I know that I can walk, talk, be in my life and make decisions and, and I can make circumstances for my life. I can live the life I want to live, you know, but there's just no, no more traps in hope and fear. Hope and fear, hope and fear. That cycle breaks open in this training. It breaks open. So the starting point is really to see that uh, that the mind needs training. It needs training. And it's fine if you think it doesn't, you know. I totally understand. I totally, you know, I... But it, it needs training. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but it, you know, I say it just because I've seen it in myself. I see so easily that I was trained to be distracted by my thoughts and emotions and, and to live a life today by each day being less and less distracted by this. It's, it's a life I deeply wish for every human being. Because that's the starting point for, for flourishing in your life, for seeing your gifts, strengths, talents. You can see there's so much time and energy to contribute to other people. And this is the greatest joy. To live a life where you actually have capacity, time, energy to contribute to other people. This is what we have been longing for all of our life. That, that's what we've been looking for in intimate relationships, by the way. Sure about it. I'm sure about it in my own experience. So this, this empowerment that you receive from this training is so unique. So it's walking the talk. It's the results that keep, keep you coming back.